Welcome back to Kim's Art Alchemy. I am going to try and do the dragon scale, dragon eye crackle effect again. I did get some purple on this last one, but that gold, this harvest gold is mixing with the purple and creating this um, pinky salmon color, which is very pretty, but I really wanted one that's predominantly purple. So what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna take out the harvest gold and I'm gonna substitute it with violet rain and see what happens. So my inks are gonna be the same. Um, this pigment is White Haven. It will remain the same. I also decanted a little earlier. I decanted at 90 um, degrees Fahrenheit instead of 95 to 100. And I only have a little itty bitty bit of um, resin left for the push. So I'm gonna get this all prepped and uh, we'll be back. We're back, I've got everything all mixed up. So the mauve, I put 14 drops in of the Holbein, and this is also Holbein. I put 10 drops of the dioxazine purple in this one. I put in a decent scoop of violet rain, and you can see the colors are very similar. Um, this one's more purple blue, and this one's more purple black, but we'll see. That one's like a shimmery version of this one. And then of course I have my White Haven. And I'm just trying to continue to stir these up as much to get those micas to just melt into that resin. So, all right, so fingers crossed. All right, I'm gonna do this one second. I'm basically gonna get these maybe off to the side a little more so I can focus on what I need to pour. I wanna pour this one first and um, just trying to think here for a second. Yeah, so there's only one go at each of these. Not like I didn't do this, you know, two days ago. I'm already second guessing myself. All right, I just need to divide this between the two coasters. Okay, so we've got that light mob down first. This is gonna be the next one down. Give that a really good stir again. All right, let's do it. just a little all right and then we do the white Just a little bit there. All right. Quick torch. And then we do the purple, purple. Again, equally divided. leave very much white. I'm 
make sure I got enough for this one. And then last but not least, drop of the violet rain and then a push Bitty push. So I will be back. I will put a backing on this and then um, we'll return when it's time to unmold. Be back in a flash. <laughs> We're back and this is cured. I put a dark, well I put the gold in and mixed it with some black. Uh-oh, looks like I fused the mold. Gosh darn it. Got these out of their molds. Let's see. Did I make a mistake in using the dark um, violet rain as in place of the gold? Let's find out. <gasps> I, it's awesome. Oh my goodness, it's awesome. Look at how much crackle I've got in there too. <gasps> I love it! I think this is the best one yet. Oh wow, I'm so excited. So excited. These are perfecto. Perfecto mundo. Woo woo. Woo 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 woo. Doing the dance, doing the dance. Oh yeah, baby. Okay, so what I did differently for these ones. I used a significant amount of the um, acrylic ink. And I also only let the resin get to 90 degrees and then decanted. So I think perhaps some thickening of the resin is good, but not too much so that you can still account for letting the resin move. <gasps> I'm so excited. Oh, these are beautiful, beautiful. There's a little bit of dark, that dark purple that you can see in the center here, along with on the outside. And same with this one too. Oh, I can't wait to do more. I may have cracked the code. Well, I mean, I, I got it with the other ones, but um, but I didn't have it come in that much. So, yay! Giving myself a hand. <laughs> All right, what are your thoughts on these? Um, I will, of course, show you the dried results. Well, dried results. These are the dried results. I will show you once I... Um, put the uh, the marker around the edge. I just have to figure out what marker I want. And there's acorn. All right, thank you for being here as always. Bye.